Hi, and welcome back to NCTV's tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud. If you shot an event or a scene using multiple cameras, this tutorial is going to show you how to get them all in sync and then uh, work with them on a single timeline. So if you didn't use a slate or sync up your sound in any way, don't worry about it. We're going to sync it up just using visual cues and work with whatever you have. What I've done is I've analyzed these clips and I'm looking for something in them, some kind of visual cue that will allow me to sync everything up. Right here, you can see this man's hand on this girl's back here. So as I play it, and right there, so as soon as his hand makes contact, right there, that's where I've set my endpoint. And I'm going to use that visual cue to sync up my clips. I just press I, set my endpoint. And then I'll just go to my other clips. And uh, this is actually the difficult clip because uh, three cameras, they're not all pointing in the same place. So that one's going to be a little harder. But on this one, if I scroll backwards and I just look for the hand to touch right there, as soon as it makes contact, I press I. And now I've set these two, this one and this one down here, um, to be in sync with each other. So I'm just going to bring them in. So there's one and the one down here. I'm going to turn snapping on with S so that it snaps right to the edge. And then I'm just going to bring this one down so that I have another layer. Now I'm going to bring my timeline back up. And so when I play, they're perfectly in sync. Now the only camera that I don't have in sync is this one because they would be over here, but my camera's not picking it up. So this one I'm just going to have to kind of do my best and listen to the audio until I can get it synced up. So I took my best guess here of where his hand would be touching her back over here. So I'm just gonna bring this in, make sure I'm not overwriting anything, use snapping to catch my edge. And then I'm just gonna bring this down. And since I know that this is the audio layer for this clip, and these are already in sync, I'm just gonna mute these so I don't have a ton of audio going on at once. And I'm just gonna listen and see if there's an echo of some kind. So there is an echo, meaning that we're just a few frames off. So if I mute these tracks, and then I mute these tracks, so this is my mic layer down here, and this is my ambient sound from my camera. So if I just uncheck these, I'm noticing that my internal mic is coming later than my external mic, meaning that this clip has to be earlier. So, but these are already in sync, so this has to be a little bit later. So I'm just gonna zoom in, turn snapping off, and I'm just gonna sneak it ahead. Let's try 10 frames. So now we're in sync. There we go, I, I had a lucky first guess. It was 10 frames off. And now all of these clips are together. And all I have to do now is to stretch them all out to their beginnings. And then I just highlight them, right click, and then I go to nest. And I'm gonna call this discussion. So there we go. So now that you have your clips synced up, in our next tutorial, we'll show you how to edit using Multicam.